is Courtney Harden. I graduated this past spring with a master's in English at PNW. So I actually went on two trips um, the summer of 2017, no, 2018. Yeah, the summer of 2018, I went to England for two weeks that was supervised by Dr. Mita Chowdhury. And this past spring, I went to Italy, and that was supervised by Dr. Paul Hecht. Okay, so for England, we studied 18th century British culture. Um, so that was, we were dealing with all different kinds of, um, it was the Age of Enlightenment. So uh, there were several artists, philosophers, um, just a whole, a big mixture of different uh, people that we focused on. Um, we spent a week in Oxford at the Bodleian Library, which is Europe's oldest library, and it is um, Oxford's main research library. So for a week, we got to be students at Oxford, which was really cool. Um, I think that probably one of my favorite parts, there were so many great, great parts, was um, going to the Foundling Museum which was a museum that was established, well, it was a hospital that was established for abandoned children in the 1700s um, by uh, Thomas Karim. And you go in there and you see um, just how horrible it was for these women. They had to give up their children, and this man created this hospital in order for these children to have a safe place to be. And it was very emotional, um, but it, it was kind of overwhelming, but it, it was probably my favorite part uh, of the trip. Um, I think that when with um, a two-week period, which is what London was, um, probably just being away from home for that long. Um, it was the first time that I'd ever traveled abroad. So um, being away from home, you start to get homesick after a little while, um, probably about seven or eight days. Um, Staying hydrated, right? Getting onto a sleep schedule that you know you're you're eight hours different from home. So those were definitely, I think, the biggest challenges that that I had. Once once you do it, once you're on that plane and you're on your way there, um, and you you walk into another country, it's just kind of an amazing, overwhelming feeling. It's something that you have to experience. It's about the closest thing to uh, traveling back in time. That, that you can come to. Um, England and especially Rome, I mean, you know, you're standing in places where history is, is just so rich. Um, and you're also, you know, you're, you're stepping out of your comfort zone, not just out of the classroom, but out of your country. And um, you're getting sort of a, uh, a global perspective. And I think that that is something that everybody should absolutely be able to experience. And we're very fortunate that PNW offers so much of that here.